Hey, what's up? This is Joshua. Nighttime walk to do a video, which I haven't done in a while, but I'm uh, I'm out here uh, by the Mississippi River. Let's see. Let's see if I can find the trail again. Looks like it's right here. Um, and I was just driving home from work, and all of a sudden, this idea popped in my head about ideation and uh, and some ideas around that, especially if you're a graphic designer or um, almost like any kind of consultant that has to uh, to sell stuff or um, or uh, or come up with ideas for people. So the idea here then is um, it's about sort of research and ideation. So a thing that um, a lot of designers do in particular is they only do enough research or enough ideation to come up with one idea and hopefully I will end up in some light so this thing isn't pitch black the whole time but we'll see maybe I'll turn around and we'll catch car lights um, but they just do one idea and the, the problem with that and they put a lot of energy and investment into just doing that one idea and the big problem with that is um, if that idea gets rejected, there are no backup ideas because the whole focus was on delivering this sort of one like genius level idea. So any kind of back, backup idea wasn't really important to begin with. Um, and so, uh, so if the idea gets rejected, you have to sort of go back to the drawing board. And if you're only coming up with one idea, there is a pretty good bet that your process isn't built to come up with more than one idea. It's really built to go sort of all in on the one thing that you're sort of interested in or thinking about. Look at this, we got some light. This might be slightly better. So it's built to go all in on the one thing that you're thinking about or interested in. And then if you run, if that's all you've got, you're kind of doomed and it sucks. So let's see if we can get, how's that? That's pretty good. They'll probably freak out runners. So let's get in the woods a little bit. Um, yeah, that works. Okay. So, um, so what ends up happening uh, is your your process isn't built for coming up with more than one idea. So a really key thing is to either take your same process but multiply the outputs. So take whatever it is you're doing to do one idea and set the goal to come up with say three to five ideas or even if you're only going to show one idea but to come up with ten ideas and then if you want to throw all your eggs in one basket if it gets rejected you have other valuable insights hopefully behind you um, I was thinking about this because I was thinking about um, I was looking at something today and the impression I got of what I was looking at was that the firm who designed the campaign I was looking at, they had one idea. They went all in on that one idea and when the client wasn't really feeling it, they didn't have the breadth of insight to, to go back to um, either further develop or come up with a new idea. Uh, so what they did was they took their one idea, they kind of split it into three and basically rewrote the rationale and just did a bunch of bullshit to try to make it look like they had more than one idea. But it was still really clear they only had one. Um, any difference was um, so minute as to be basically be an alternative, not a, a new kind of idea. And, um, and I think that that speaks to one, not prioritizing having enough ideas but then two not having a process that is built to a comp to accommodate having a nice big flow of ideas I'm gonna start heading back so the goal would be to have a process you know treat ideas like a funnel you want to drop a ton of stuff into the top of the funnel um, with, and then have something at the bottom that comes out and is great and is done but you don't really want it to be that the bottom that the funnel can only come up with one idea you just want it to be that there's one idea maybe that you feel most strongly about and again I would advise against that I think the way to treat ideas or, or concepts for a project 
is that uh, you want them to be like your kids. or your, Like if all three of your dogs get out and you live near the highway and you have to pick one, you probably won't be able to. That's kind of like the caliber of um, attachment you want to have to any one idea. You sort of want it to be that you have three ideas, you love them equally, and it's impossible for you to pick which one to kill. So, um, you know, if, if when an idea gets rejected, you don't know what to do and you can't come up with a new, better idea, take that as a sign that your process is not built for your actual business model and start figuring out how to make it so that you're generating more ideas at the top of the funnel so that you either have them as backup when you need them or so that you can um, you can sh show more ideas at the end of it, more concepts, and be less likely to run into a situation where um, you literally have to go all the way back to the beginning every time a client doesn't like something. All right, thanks a lot for watching. We have this new handy uh, monopod, which seems like it might make more steady videos, so I'm excited about that. All right, have a good night.